Hello, my name's Richard. Um, I'm retired. It's a sunny day. Um, since I've retired, I've been playing a bit of guitar, or trying to. Um, I bought a second-hand guitar. I'm not a guitarist, but I just thought, along with the neighbour, Trevor next door, he wanted to learn a few chords and play a little. So I wanted to have a chat about that with you. After we've made, or oh, I've completed now, 317 videos of music on YouTube. So that's something, I suppose. It's not brilliant, it's just basic stuff, but um, it's been fun for me and I want to do some more. And uh, if I can encourage anybody who's retiring to not knowing what to do with themselves, go to a car boot sale and buy a guitar, learn some chords, and um, do some work on, on here on YouTube and get some acclaim for your talent. <laughs> this is a, my guitar. It's um, what is it? It's a crafter. <laughs> it's a great guitar. Um, I'm a car boot guitarist. I only know two or three chords, but I have some fun playing because since I retired. I've sort of looked at learning a few chords and learning a few bits and pieces and I've had great fun. I mean, chords, they're not easy because you, first and foremost you've got to learn them. I mean that's E for instance and uh, this is C. My fingers are not clearing the other strings. It's there's some dull noises. You have to arch your fingers, and um, you know you can put chords together. For instance, you get um, progressive runs, which in, for C, for instance, you can have C to A minor to F. And you can make a song out of that. Don't take your love away from me. <laughs> Clever, aren't I? And anyway, um, you can do instrumentals. I've got my next door neighbour, Trevor. He, when we retired, we started having a music night and to do basic guitar playing and I've done a few instrumentals like um, oops oh. do you recognize that it's called wonderful land of the shadows it's actually on YouTube so if you type in Rick's T and YouTube you'll see it but I mean I, I I don't know, it's very difficult. I, I get great pleasure from this guitar because I can do things like... Um, well, I'm a heart for you, baby Can't get enough of your love I'm a heart for you, baby. I can't get enough of your love. When I go to sleep at night, you're the only one I'm dreaming of. <laughs> See, and then you can make a song up and 
do a little instrumental. I'm not very good at that yet. I, I'm trying to learn a thing called the pentatonic scale, which is, uh, for instance, in, in A. And those notes in that scale, you should be able to get a tune from, you know, I, I don't know what, right? I can't think of anything. Um, I can't think of anything. Um, and then there's an open uh, sort of a pentatonic scale at the bottom. And you can get a tune out of that. Anyway, just going back to these chords, what have got these glasses on for? Um, there's A, B, well B7 this is, C, you can do that, D, E, F, G. One of the tricky things, I mean Trevor has difficulty in getting an A, doing, doing the F shape, which is important, if you can see that, because you can get lots of chords further up the fretboard. It is difficult. What else can I tell you? Um, excuse me. You can do some. I, I, I like blues music, and um, a lot of that comes in an A minor sort of. Sometimes I think people think I can play guitar, but I can't. I haven't got a clue. It's all bluffing. Believe me. Anyway, let's play some some rhythms for you. People have trouble in, once they've learned the chords, that's okay. The next thing is, is changing from one chord to the other. That's the most difficult thing. I'm clever, aren't I? I'm showing off a bit. Um, when I played in a band, when I was a young man, not that I'm old, of course, um, I used to be a drummer. I enjoyed playing the drums, but I can't play now. But I love playing this guitar because it's such a. I bought another. And I bought another guitar. It's called an Ibanez or something like that. And it's like a classical guitar. I'll do that at some stage. Anyway, at the moment I've 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 done I've done several I've done quite a lot of instrumental songs. They're not very good, but like this one. Um, That's called Sleepwalk by Santos and Johnny. That's on YouTube, so if you want to see me playing that, um, I'm playing it. Just type in Rick's T and Sleepwalk. Um, what I, uh, what, this is the stuff that I put on to YouTube, I've done 317 songs now, and most of them have got backing tracks, but I wanted to do some songs playing, singing, like, we sing, I don't know the words, so, uh, uh,
So, um, well, just one last piece, I suppose. Uh, one needs to know the names of the strings and make sure the guitar's in tune. This is probably not in tune. Anyway, E, A, B, G, B, B. Oh, this is clever, this is clever. Um, and also, to a great thing to do is to learn the names of the where what the names of like for instance this is E and there's a chord of E. Um, G for instance. Oh no, C. This is A. What you've got to do if you're playing songs and you're playing instrumental breaks, you've got to know where. Let's so say someone's playing the key of D, for instance. You've got to know where to start off to play your D notes. Or, for instance, you can actually play like C, it's simpler really, no sharps or flats. So, anyway, it's nice talking to you. I'm going to do a piece of music next, I think. It's called I, I Don't Know How to Love Him, but I'm not going to have a backing track, I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, how does it go? Well, that's what I'm. I'm going to try and learn that so that uh, do it without any backing, but do it with feeling, and uh, should sound quite nice. Let's try it again. Just just sort of this. So that's it. Enjoy your guitar playing. And I'll have another chat with you soon because I like chatting about these things and doing a few chords. No, not very good tuition. But oh, strumming is another thing, but I'll, I'll see you again soon.